What do you mean by ionospheric abnormalities? My name is Rishi Ramju and welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community where I make engineering easy for you. So let us ask ourselves that obvious question. What do you mean by the term ionospheric abnormalities? Well, let's find out. So ionospheric abnormalities, just like the name suggests, it is very simple. These are the abnormalities that are seen in the ionosphere. So the ionosphere is a layer of the atmosphere that is used for communication like sky wave propagation. So we expect this ionosphere to behave in a particular way. That is we expect the ionosphere to have a particular refractive index of eta is equal to root of 1 minus a to 1 n divided by f squared. And so we expect this ionosphere to have certain behavior. We expect the ionosphere to behave in a particular manner. But under some conditions, it does not behave like we want it to. It shows some abnormalities. So these abnormalities are referred to as the ionospheric abnormalities. But what are these abnormalities that we can see? There are a few abnormalities that we can actually observe in the case of ionosphere. So the first type of ionospheric abnormality is tidal abnormalities. So in the case of tidal ionospheric abnormalities, the atmosphere experiences a tidal pull from the sun and the moon. And because of this tidal pull, there will be some abnormalities present in the ionosphere. This is simply what we refer to as the tidal ionospheric abnormalities. Here, the solar tidal effects are more amplified because the period of oscillation of the atmosphere coincides with the solar period, which is 12 hours. So therefore, the solar tidal period, it coincides with the period of oscillation of the atmosphere and therefore causes ionospheric abnormalities. The lunar tidal effects are also detectable, but they are very feeble, not as strong as the solar tidal effects. So the winds in the ionosphere are mainly caused due to the tides. The winds in the ionosphere are mainly because of these tidal effects. So this is the tidal ionospheric abnormalities. Next, we have something referred to as sudden ionospheric disturbance. Sudden ionospheric disturbance. It is also referred to as SID. Sudden ionospheric disturbance. This happens due to the abnormally high ionization or plasma density in the ionosphere. So here in the case, a complete blackout is observed. So it is a phenomenon of a complete blackout. This is what you refer to as sudden ionospheric disturbance. Next, we have something referred to as cross modulation or Luxembourg effect. So while listening to a signal, a distant signal from a medium frequency station, we can observe certain noises creeping in from some other powerful station of certain lower frequency. So while listening to a distant signal from a medium frequency broadcasting station, we can observe a continuous background noise of some other powerful station of lower frequency. So this might happen due to two reasons. So the first reason is because the receiver and both these transmitters are equidistant from each other. That is the distance from both these transmitters are same from the receiver. That might be one reason. And the second reason is because this interfering station might be in between the transmitter and the receiver. I've written it down. The two reasons because why this can happen is the two transmitting stations are either equidistant from the receiver or the interfering station is in between the receiver and the transmitter station. So therefore, the interaction of two strong radio waves passing through the ionosphere results in the production of cross modulation products causing interference. This is what you refer to as cross modulation abnormality in the ionosphere. The next type of abnormality is because of the man-made noises, that is the noises that we make. So because of the noises that we make, because of the devices that we use and all those things, because of the noises we make, there might be certain abnormalities caused in the ionosphere. That is what you refer to as man-made noises. As simple as that. These simply are the reasons behind why we can observe abnormalities in the ionosphere. As simple as that. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of what you refer to as ionospheric abnormalities. And if you guys found this video informative, do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.